John Davis changed his life forever when he won the Power Slap middleweight title back in March. Now it's his job to keep that belt around his waist by halting the first challenger of Oklahoma's Wesley Drake. Last year at the Marks exhibition, I weighed about 220, competed at heavyweight, and I've had to grind and work my ass off in some way, shape, or form every day to be able to maintain this and get to where I'm at. I'm sure people have all sorts of doubts about what we're doing, but especially when it comes to myself and the power that I possessed, I don't think people really believed I was capable of putting someone out that way. But after Azael, you know, went down and hit the table on the way down, I'm pretty sure that solidifies my power. I got in power slap because I wanted the world to see me. I want to be famous. I want to change the world. I'm here to change the world, and I will. Here at Power Slap, you know, you have the opportunity to give the person standing in front of you everything you have and really just test yourself. One shot knockout power. The defensive side of it, it really just lets you test your chin, see how tough you are. If you really got what it takes to make it a combat sports game. There's so many dudes that seem crumble off one hit. So I've taken so many hits and I have yet to fall. I love having the target on my chest, on my back, any direction people want to come at me from because, again, you know, I have a chip on my shoulder. My chip's bigger than theirs, I guarantee it. All that knockout life, I'm, I'm chasing that dragon for sure. If I can just keep knocking people out and end it as soon as possible, that's exactly what I want to do. I'm not just a belt holder. I'm not just keeping this warm for somebody. I'm here to stay. From tonight beyond here, I stack every brick that's laid on the foundation of my legacy. My fight with John Kennedy really opened up my eyes here in Power Slab. It showed me that there is a dog inside of me, and it just has to be awakened. I'm going to defeat John Davis because I'm number one, and he's number two. I'm the best there is, and he's second. Everybody's knew this from day one. It's been a long ride, John. We both knew this day's been coming. I'm excited to knock you out. These final walkouts brought to you by 10X World, 10X Your Business, 10X Your Income, 10X Your Life. Go to 10xworld.com. Wesley Drain won the toss. The number one middleweight contender, his last fight, a split decision win over Emmanuel Moody's. The handyman from Oklahoma says he is uh, changing things up just a little bit going into this one. Yeah, that's right. He said this experience has been a wild ride for him. He just can't believe what he's experiencing. He said, pick me up in a nice limousine. I got my face on the poster. I'm still training mixed martial arts because, you know, I want my son to own an action figure of me one day. So certainly Wesley, you know, he's got grandiose ideas of what he's going to achieve, but he's doing fantastic things. As you mentioned, last time I got the job done over Emmanuel needs to earn the title fight. And when we spoke to him this week, he was very nonchalant, very laid back. And I said, why are you so calm? He said, because I know. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to put this man to sleep. He said, listen, I like it. We train together on the show. Nothing personal, all business. But I know 100% when this is done, I will be the champion. He was so relaxed, so calm, he almost wondered if he had a pulse. It yeah. was very abnormal in our fighter meetings, but it, it's kind of who he is, kind of what makes him him. He does have three amateur, one pro MMA fight, even trained in Jackson Wink for a while.
middleweight champ of Power Slap, John the Machine Davis, 30 years old from Salem, Ohio. He won the middleweight title in March with a first round KO against Azael Rodriguez. We talked about his work ethic. It is absolutely off the charts. 14 hour days between, between training and work, Charlie Arnold. Yeah, off the charts is an understatement, guys. When's the last time you woke up at 2.50 in the morning for a workout? Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's what time he wakes up every day so he can hit the gym for an hour before work. Then he takes advantage of a 30 minute lunch break for another session. Oh, and it doesn't stop there because then he works out after work too. So he's working 10 hour days, training three times a day, but he says the structure is perfect for him. And also, this is cute, serves as a great example for his kids. He said the other day his 10 year old daughter, just on her own, started running on the treadmill and she also signed herself up for soccer lessons. So he's clearly setting a good example in his household. He's setting a fantastic example. When you look at him and you hear from him, he's very hard working and all the rest of it, but he's got an interesting approach. He's training the, the, the rules, if you will. You know, he knows, listen, I'm gonna transfer my power, I'm gonna generate more power, but I gotta do it the proper way without breaking the rules. I can't lift my feet. He said, also now, Dan, I'm a local celebrity. People are reaching out, and even strangers are saying that he has inspired them to start working out and get in better shape. Bit well done, a, that man. Bit of a hometown hero. Power Slap 2 available for betting. Must be 21 years of age or older. Void where prohibited. Scan the QR code now to learn more or contact your favorite local sports book. is the champion as we take a look at the tail of the tape brought to you by Happy Dad Hard Seltzer. No more skinny cans. One year separates these two men in age. They both stand six feet tall. A four inch reach advantage for the challenge. Wesley Train. With that, we are set for a title fight and we send it to Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is presented by Rumble, bold and free. Download the Rumble app or visit rumble.com. This match is scheduled for five rounds, all for the Power Slap Middleweight Championship of the World. <laughs> Introducing first, out of the blue corner, holding a professional record, two wins, zero losses. He stands six feet tall. Weighing in officially at 184 pounds. Out of Telequan, Oklahoma, he is the challenger, the number one ranked middleweight contender in the world, Wesley All the Smoke Dream. And now, introducing his opponent, in the red corner, with a professional record, four wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 183 pounds. Out of Salem, Ohio, he is the reigning, defending, undisputed, power slap, middleweight champion of the world, John the Machine Davis. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Chris Tyone. Winner of the coin toss and striking first, Wesley Drain. Rumble, bold and free. Download the Rumble app or visit rumble.com. Our very first title match right, of the evening. Coming between Wesley Drain from Tahlequah, Oklahoma, and John the Machine Davis from okay. tiny Salem, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Grew up on an ostrich farm in Homeworth, Ohio, little tiny town, says he goes there and people right want to take three, pictures with him now. Okay, right on three. He needs to bring that belt back. All right, here we go, Wesley Drain with the first shot. The Eight. longer reach, your feet. the bigger leverage. There you go, thank you. But he didn't seem that motivated major. the other day. However, the lights are on. One. The count is on. Two. And the slap is on. Oh, he rolled with it though. He rolled oh. with it. <laughs> oh, no, first Fair blow. Saying you're a chump and did not phase me. Well, that was cool the way he took that. I mean, yeah. definitely. Really, really close. Let's go. Very really close. Let's go, Doug. Doing the old Adesanya against Paul Tapajara. 
Oh, there you go. Taking the shot with the, cr cr uh, the bow and arrow, the crossbow, I almost said. Well, you, did say, you said leverage, and we say leverage in America, so it's okay. You don't say everything right. I'm right hand on three, you must <laughs> you know. measure. Okay? That is your measure. Look at this peak velocity. Fifth fastest slap on the card. Here we go. And look at the wind up. Look how low he goes. Two. He heard oh, his arm. No way. Oh, no way. Oh, no. Hyper extended the elbow on the shoulder. Hey. Oh, this is a real shame. We haven't seen this before. No, nope. Wesley took that, no problem. We hear him talk about this all the time in training. A lot of times it's the elbow, not necessarily the shoulder. Yep. But it looked like it was the shoulder that he hurt. But you can hit him harder. Let's go. Stop. Stop. Oh. In the shoulder. Oh, no. I think it came out. He went straight. Uh, yeah, I think it popped out for a second. Because look, now he's manipulating the arm, trying to get it back in. Can you, can you bring it all the way up for me? I think it was a up, slight separation down. there for a minute and okay. went right out. back in. Okay. I think it popped out. Right, gonna, I think it dislocated. You can use his left. I can use my left hand. Yes, sir. Okay. Left. All right. Don't it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He has to use he's his gonna left. use his left. It's up to him. Okay. Up to Robert Trey right here shouted okay. out. You got two arms. Step in. Step in. I would say most likely he won the first round, wouldn't you say, Michael? Yeah, I mean, it's it, certainly the biggest okay. shot. The problem is it did the damage okay, to him. Okay, competitor set. Not to Wesley hand Drain. Hand in count. Right on well, three. how okay. ambidextrous are you? Here, look, okay. What do you say? Right on three. Extra. No, that you was good. Measure. That was good. You did well there. You did well there. I know you're the king of English. King of England. One. Charles. Two. Oh! Stumbled and backwards. Massive. Massive. Back to the table. Wesley drained with the biggest shot I believe we've seen him land. With the double thumbs up. Yeah, listen, John Davis, I mean, he's been a part of some sensational he's matches. Right but this is by far the, the toughest matchup right that he's been involved yeah. with. The he's hardest left shot left that he's ever left. taken. You feel, you feel now okay he's going to respond hit. with yeah, his bad arm okay. after he blew out feel the feel shoulder. Here, yeah, and his previous strike. That was a heavy shot by Wesley Drake. Got 20 seconds. Does he go with his left hand or his right hand here? Perfect position. And remember, title fights are five rounds. Not a three-rounder like the rest of them. Competitor set. So he's going to go with his left. Left, on three. left I mean, hand sucks. on three. This you is like measure. throwing with your left, left hand. Left hand this is on tough. three. That is your measure. Like writing with your left hand. One. Let's see what he's got, though. Two. You never know. No, 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 no. That will not do it. That will not Good. win it. That will lose you the belt. It's a shame. Wesley Drain is absolutely licking his chops, knowing that he most likely has this in the back. Yours, All he has to do is avoid <laughs> the foul. Good, bro. Well, he was he literally he licking yours, his bro. own lich right now. Look, watch. There it is. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Perfect. No good. <laughs> no. It, 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 it is. It is so Competitor hard set. to slap with your off hand. And then, right, right on three, man. Right on three. He's like right Let's on measure. three, man. He's looking forward to this. <laughs> Measure for Wesley Drain. One, two. Oh, oh. Foul! Flinching! Foul! As well. Flinching! It's such a shame. It's not going the way of John Davis tonight. No, it's, it's a warning. Not. The first shot. Yes, sir. So He's Wesley Drain gets to strike right. again. So it's the choice of yeah, Wesley choice. Drain. Does he want to strike again? But what logical human being on earth would not strike I just again? Want to take his belly just slapped me in the face. I'm slapping him right back. Watch the watch, watch feet here. Okay. It's okay. Come on. Oh, a little right lift here. on the left. Are you calling that? Okay, but the, the flinch takes precedence. Oh, that's a stepping. Okay. So we have a double foul. Okay. Son of a bitch, and we'll hit you again. Okay. Oh, and a club. Oh, that's brutal. Get set. Chin right there, you're good. Okay. So, get set. I'll, I do love Competitor to set. Go again, despite right the stepping yes, call. Right on three with the measure. That's your measure. One, two. Ah. Look how quick he comes back with that. Foul. Stepping. Foul. Again. 
And you never know. And they call the stepping this time. Listen, that's the only way Wesley Drake One can point lose blue with a foul. Stepping. It's the only way. One point blue stepping. One point blue stepping. So Wesley loses yep. a point. Come on, bud. So all John Davis has to do is land a legal blow. Oh, oh yeah. And he wins this round. Step up. Stay right there, chin down. Even chin with down. I'm a step in the of this. Look at me. Call this like right there. Up. Okay, chin up. Stay right there. Okay. Step in. So all John Davis needs here Left is a clean three. strike Left on three. and he wins the measure. round. And he gets a 10 8 round. That's your measure. Uh, he could still be in this thing, despite the fact he's thrown with his off hand here because he hit his shoulder. At the very least, a draw. Two. Better. Yeah, didn't hurt him, but it wins it the round. And with the point deduction as well, that's 10 8, John Davis. And you would assume he won the first round, at least he would on my scorecard if I were keeping it. John Davis? Yeah. John Davis. It was a hell of a slap so hard, in fact, that he blew his shoulder out. You're in good position. Round two, he lost without question. But he won this round because of the penalties, 10-8. So by my math. Competitor set, right on three, must measure. Yeah, we'll take a look at it in a second. You're working on your scorecard, there it is. So That's Davis is legend. up 29-27 yes, through three rounds on your scorecard. Can he stay conscious? Though? One, two. Uh -oh. That was a stumble. Yes, yeah, that's a press. Bit of a club as well. Yeah, he's still he's still wobbling. Yeah, he's good though. He's holding that button or baton. Baton. Stop it. Yes. Bullying me. My mental health. <laughs> I tell you what, John Davis is one tough cookie, man. Hey, <laughs> that's not open for debate. Up. We know. One about. point, okay? So hit him clean. Time, with the left hand. time, Doc. I'm gonna have the doctor touch you. Okay? Let's go. 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 Doctor coming out to check on the champ, John Davis. Saying, and I'm not looking, but they're saying that he's flinching every time John is here. So just track it. He's good. So they're he's fine. keeping right. an eye on the flinching, go checking to make sure okay. the okay. machine right. Right. is John. right John. to continue. Hey, clean hit with this left hand. <coughs> Next hit, we're finishing with your right, okay? Go when you're oh. ready. You got this, baby. It's all How you. about that game plan? Whoa. Robert Trujillo. Yeah, I mean, listen, that's like, go, you know, Jim's put all good. your chips in, go yeah, for Brown. Right. Yeah, you're going to potentially never use your right arm again, but you might win the Left bounce. on three, oh, what's the measure? Jeez Left Louise. on three. Yeah, looks a little out of range. Two. He does. You're right. He's landing with the fingers, not it as is. much the Fair palm. Low. I think you're exactly right. He's not yeah. close enough. For all the work that he's done, for everything, everything he talks about, the training, the early the starts, the discipline, Stay the dedication, okay. he's not close enough. You're exactly he's right. He's hitting right with the fingers. He needs to be three inches right closer. Stay right there. 38-37 right. on your scorecard going into round five. Can the champion hold on? Can he stay conscious? Time. Time. And can he win the final round? Or even if he loses and he's conscious, it's a draw. Okay. He's been given two warnings and a point. Okay. So, what was that? Chris Tognoni talking okay, to Be careful the with the flinch, okay? About Stay the set. flinching. Right there. Okay. Step in. It's a final warning set. for flinching. Right on so three. So they've deducted a measure. point. They've okay. warned him twice. It happens again, they'll take a measure. point. And that was commissioned with Jeff Mullins for the record. One, two. Ah, oh, heavy blow. Stays on the feet. He's fine. He's fine. Foul. And Foul. Okay. And a step. Yeah. Okay. The pe the penalty could very well one point blue cost clubbing. Drain this fight. One point blue I mean, clubbing. Without the use one point of blue his clubbing. Slapping right arm. Here. High 
great drama in the power slap arena. This is crazy. All he had to do was be clean to win a title, and Wesley Drain unable to avoid the penalties. He's looking at me right now saying, what the F? You have a perfect hit. Throw it if you need. Everyone oh, wants that to see was a call. That was too high. That was a good call. You got the match. This is your call here, champ. Let's get it. The club didn't like it. It's still have a minute time. That's right, that's right. If you want to take that time. Well done. I, 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 you know, you get it. That was good. Come on yeah, in, big guy. All right, whatever. Come on in. Go ahead and get set. Fight, 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 fight. So, so Davis lands a clean blow. Look at the side of his face. His coach said, use your right arm, which is severely yeah. compromised. Stay right there. Stay right there. Robert Trujillo wants him to throw the right. He might think that he needs okay. to go for the knockout here, which I just don't think is the case. I think if he lands a clean blow, Davis holds on to the belt. And he can do significant injury by using the right arm again. I'm a step in the motherfucker. It's a big risk. I'm sorry. You're good. You're good. That's nice. Drain apologizes yep. for okay. step. Good sportsman. And Competitor set. Right on three. Right on three. He's right on right three. Right 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 Get this guy to be here. Where Steve will do it. Oh, One. The ball's on this man. All right He's going with this. Going all in. Oh. Well. Bell. He still Step wins in. the round. Foul oh, stepping. They called a stepping foul. <laughs> One point stepper. red stepping. That could cost One him point the title. Red stepping. Oh, this is bananas. One point red I stepping. can't believe we're seeing this many fouls in a championship fight. Lost the feet. Good job, guys. Little pick up on the left. Uh, yeah. It's a step. That's the right call. It's a step. You can only have a minor Good heel job. lift. I think he was so worried about the impact and what it was going to do to his shoulder. Well, again, you know, you're in the fifth round. The belt is on the line. You want to deliver the best blow. You focus on the power. You forget about the technique. Will it cost him the title, though? I don't know. I can't wait to see your scorecard because this is really, really close. Hold on. Let's take a look. So you have Davis holding on just by a whisker, 47-46. Break this down for us, Miss Big. Well, it all comes down to the third round. Remember, we had a step and we had a club from Wesley Drain. That caused him to lose two points. And Davis, even though it was you know, kind of a weaker hit, a weaker slap, he still won the round, 10-8. And because of that, I say and still. You he, he goes home as the champ. I agree. It's, it's amazing, considering what went down when his shoulder popped out of socket, that he couldn't use his right arm. He had to swing with his offhand. All Wesley Drain needed to do was land clean strikes the rest of the way because Davis simply didn't have enough power in his left hand to do any damage. All he had to do was take the emotion out of it. You know right. what I mean? Look you're at right. it as a business and go, okay, here we go. But how hard is that when you're in? It's very there. hard, especially when a guy's teeing off on your face. Right here, you want to get revenge. You want to show the world you can hit hard. You want to send the message. Wesley. You know, so that that alpha male Good syndrome, job, if you will, kind of takes over, and you forget about the basics. You forget about the scoring. And I'll just throw Ryan Phillips under a bus. He should have oh. told him, hey, buddy, just land a legal blow. Let's find out what happened. The official decision brought to you by Kudo Snacks, Kudo Protein Popcorn. Get pop with Kudo today at kudosnacks.com. Justin Bernard, what do you have? Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 47-46 for the winner by unanimous decision and still... Power Let's Slap go! Middleweight Champion of the World, Thanks. Sean the Machine.